Hey, what's going on everybody? Check it out. This is the only guide that you need to reading tab. How do you read tab? What is tabulature? Tabulature. I don't even know how you say it, but how do you read tab? I didn't start reading tab. I got into it a little bit later, but I understand how useful of a tool it is in the beginning when you're learning how to read. So just the placement of your fingers, that's what tab is. It's showing you exactly where to put your fingers on what string on what fret. So that's just a little introduction. Let's get right into it. Super, super quick. You're going to be like, okay, well, that's it. Yeah, that's it. So this is a, an example. This is from the base nation Academy. If you guys aren't a part of the base nation Academy, this, picture here or this PDF file is from one of the lessons that we had before. This is what we send out. So it just happened to be an A major triad sequence, B minor. So we're going through different triads, whatever. But the tab is going to be at the bottom. This is what we're going to talk about here. This just this section. This is what we're going to take a look at and understand how to read. So when you see something like this, you can automatically say, hey, I got it. I know how to do it. So first things first, we need to understand what those lines actually mean what the numbers actually mean. So we're going to go based on what we have here. This is an A major. Doesn't matter right now. We're just learning how to read, how to understand. Obviously, you see the tab sign on the side, the T-A-B. That's what we're going to be looking at, that line right there. So what you need to know. Hey guys, real quick, sorry to interrupt, but I have to mention this. If you're serious, only if you're serious about taking your bass playing to the next level, I get tons of questions all the time. Derek, do you have programs? Do you have lessons? Do you have a course? Absolutely. We have everything you need at Bass Nation Academy. We have courses, we have live classes. You have more direct access to me um, to be able to answer your questions and get feedback. We have a video Q&A section. It's a ton of stuff. Check it out for yourself. Link is going to be in the description. Don't want to take too much time away from the lesson, but anyway, had to mention that. Check you guys later. Those four lines, they're dedicated to the four strings on the bass. Obviously here it says the lowest string is at the bottom, right? So your lowest string in pitch, your E, your, your E string, it's at the bottom. Then you go up from there, E, A, D, G is towards the top, okay? So just a nice way to remember that, the lowest string is at the bottom, boom. What do the numbers mean? The numbers do not mean the numbers of your fingers. Obviously, you do not have nine fingers as it's pointed to right there. It's the numbers of the frets. It's the fret numbers, okay? So it's very, very clear and pointed out to you. Just take, for instance, the first one. The first five, they see the number five? That five is on what string? The E string. So we know that so far, but we're not playing an open E. We just know it's on that string. The five, if you guys can see me here, is gonna be on our fifth fret. That's where the five is gonna land. Next note, nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine, on the same string. You see that? So we're going in order right now. So we got five, nine, then guess what? We go up to the seventh. So we go up one line, meaning one string, up to the seventh fret. So we have to find the seventh fret, boom. So now we're playing our triads, you hear it now. It's an A major triad. So that's how you would read that. Next line goes up to the seven, let's keep going. We're gonna stay right there since we're on the seventh fret. We go right up to the octave of A. So, very shortly, very quickly, that's how you would play and understand and read tab. Now, one thing I wanna say, I, I don't, how can I say this nicely? <laughs> Do not rely on reading this. You wanna read the top line. You wanna be able to read the top line. This is a buffer, this is a crutch, this is a help in order to help you figure out the top line, okay? Do not focus on just the bottom line, just the tab itself. A lot of people get stuck in just the tab. You don't wanna do that. Ultimately, you wanna learn how to read the staff, okay? We're gonna have a lesson on that as well. But this is your guide to understanding how to read tab just for this instance. Obviously, you need to learn rhythmic value of the notes that are sitting above it, but the placement of the note, the numbers, It's going to help you find out where these notes are on your instrument. Now, every instrument doesn't have this. We have the, the privilege of having something like this to our advantage, right? So we can read the tab and we can find out where the notes are and then figure out the rhythm a little bit later. But it's, an, it's a help. Listen to me. Listen to me now. It's a help in order for you to get to the next level to read the staff, okay? So 
Use this as a little crutch. That's exactly what it is. You don't use a crutch all your life. Usually when you use a crutch, you know, if you got hurt or something like that, you end up not using the crutch after four, five, six weeks or whatever the case may be. It's a cast, right? It's going to come off at some point. So this is how you do that. This is how you read the tab and be able to catapult your learning to the next level. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry about that. I completely forgot one thing. Okay, let's go back to these definitions here. When you're reading this tab, you may come across a zero instead of a five, nine, seven, or six. You may come across a zero. That basically means the open string. So you see right there where it says the number zero equals open string note on your far right. Uh, that's just what I wanted to include. I don't think I said that inside of the lesson. Don't want you guys to get confused when you're reading tab and you see a zero on one of those lines. All it means is whatever string that line is coinciding with. That means you're playing an open string. Again, do not rely on the tab itself. It's a stepping stone to be able to read the staff. Okay. If you guys have any questions, you want me to do the music staff next, uh, just let me know in the comments. All right. Make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise. I have to say that. That's my tag after every single lesson. Make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise. And I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.